What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is. Woo! It's Snap On Friday. It's actually Thursday. It's snap On <laughs> Thursday. That it sounds should be weird. on a Friday, but Friday's an off day. So Snap On Thursday, that should be on a Friday that's an off day. Anyway, there's Hamilton. Let's do it. Come on. Thursday. Feels weird to be on the snap on truck on a Thursday. Feels like I'm cheating on Hamilton. Instead <laughs> <laughs> of finally Friday, I guess this, this is our Friday though, really. Well, I gotta work tomorrow. Yeah. To lunch anyway. I'll be working tomorrow, just won't be on those shops because ain't hardly nobody gonna be open. That's a good thing. But yeah, uh, that's what I had a lot of folks text me like, hey, you ain't gonna be working this week, blah, blah, blah. So, I ain't either. I worked two days the last two weeks, you know. Both of them <laughs> Tuesday and Thursday of this week. Mm -hmm. I mean, if ain't nobody open, you only can do what you can do. When we giving away the toolbox? We're getting closer. That's all we got back there. That's everything I got from the house and all. Oh, That's that it, huh? Box. Got one, two, three, four, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 caps. There's another. That's 17. Yeah. I think this one I moved over here is, no, I'll, I'll give that one away to somebody. And then those coats there. Yep. What you done got a trade in in the red box? Now the, uh, uh, one of my shops, he said some guy showed up at his shop. And that's a torque range, I can tell by looking at the box. Yeah. That's what I asked him, I said, dang, I said, uh, how old is that? He said it's brand new. I said the box ain't. <laughs> Golly. So that's an old style right there. Yeah. Three quarter. He's like, put it on your truck, see if you can sell it to somebody. I, said, I put it on there. I ain't making no promises though. Wow. This be more like, I sold, Snap on still sells torque wrenches like these, but it's yeah. been like machine shops. Uh, tool and die shops, stuff mm -hmm. like that, buy torque wrenches like these. I wonder know. how old that thing is. I have no idea. I bet that book will have a date on the back of it. It could. They, I mean, you thought it ain't never been on anything, though. Yeah. It's like, That's like stepping back in time right there, Jack. Make me nervous sitting that far off the edge. <laughs> it's a CDI. It's gotta be in the 70s or early 80s. No date, huh? There's a bunch of paperwork in there, though. But just by looking at the paper, though, you know it's old. You got all your conversion charts for different stuff. Foot pounds, inch pounds. So 30 to 40 years ago, that's probably what it looked like. You know, somebody's like, ooh, that thing is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Now, now you got all the digital stuff. <laughs> yeah. What's funny though is that thing right there is probably more accurate, more man. accurate and uh, more dependable. You yeah. know the damn batteries ain't gonna go dead. Either. You ain't got to worry about <laughs> battery may go dead, but ain't gonna be the torque wrench battery. That's for that's sure. Right. They be the battery in your arm, battery on your back. I mean, just look at the paper done turn yellow. Yeah, he said, he says brand new. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it's new old stock is what they call it. Yeah. I don't know. There ain't a date nowhere on any of this stuff. Uh oh. Football thing. Yep. Bowl games going on. It's probably about the <laughs> South Carolina, North Carolina. I imagine that's who's playing right now, I think, ain't it? But look at You can even see the. Uh, had different adapters that went with it. Yep. Well, the thing about having to run your shop at one of these 
tor torquing everything. That's all you got, that's all you got, right? A lot of stuff probably didn't get torqued, I imagine. <laughs> yeah, ain't a date on any of it. I was hoping to have a date on that. It's been in our salon, the, uh, look down there where the styrofoam hmm. is stuck to the box, even. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Yeah. He's like, hey, put it on the truck and see if you can sell it. I was like, well, we'll try. Made in the USA. Everything was back then, though. Everything, but what they sold it, like, uh, what do you call it, place? Uh, Pier 1. Remember, that was big back in yeah. the day. <laughs> yeah. I figure you've sold that Montezuma box by now. Well, I do got a guy that's building service beds or service trucks, and he's wanting to order some, but he don't know what sizes that he's needing. Yeah. He said that he's going to order a bunch of different sizes because he always ordering them offline. Mm -hmm. And uh, But now he's going to start buying them through me. So we'll just see what size. He's getting close to finishing one up. So. Cool. We'll find out and see on that. Here's something I took in on trade the other day that a lot of the newer mechanics probably don't know anything about. You probably know what it is just by looking at the box, I imagine. Oh, yeah. Loud spring compressor. Mm -hmm. And Blue Point still, you can still get these brand new through Blue Point. Probably the same part same number. Same part number, yep. Ain't that song. Looks like going back in time today. <laughs> You'll pull out a sun tester in a minute. Been big, you know, well, about the size of that toolbox. I can take you out in my dad's <laughs> shop and he got one. That's why, I, uh, what I went to, when I first started with Snap On, somebody had one on there, and I seen it, and I asked him, I said, "How long you had that?" And he said, "That guy told me." Of course, uh, the customer that passed away now he's an older fellow then, but he's like, uh, "He said, son, you wouldn't know what that thing is." I said, "I know exactly what that is." I, said, I raised up with one of them. I thought only eight year old that could operate one of them at the time. <laughs> I remember they, them things were cool. They had that arm that come out there and hold the wires, the wires and, and everything. Yeah. Yep. I couldn't understand any of it, but I could hook it up, though, because mm -hmm. all the graph on the... Remember it had the sort of like a green screen up yep. there, and the line would go across it. It was cool. Well, yeah. My dad still has his. I bet he probably ain't used it in 20 years. <laughs> but it's still in the shop. I seen it the other day. We'll take there. that in on trade-in. Uh, EECT 900, I believe what it is. That's a snap on one there. That's their version of like the uh, Power Pro. The, yeah, the hook. Yep. That'd be a salty bird right there, still, even used. Yeah. I could let that one go for uh, 250 Brand new, they're almost 400 bucks. Yeah, they high. Uh, they, um, we sold a bunch of these when they came out. A lot of folks didn't like them because it is. Was be different from what everything else I've used. Yeah. With the, everything's all right here, where the power probe is obviously just straight up and down like that. I haven't ever used. I, mean, I played with them on the truck, but as far as using them on an automobile or anything, I haven't ever used one. I've never touched but, the snap on one, but boy, I tell you what, a power probe is worth its weight in gold. So yeah, man, things are fine. The uh, and well, power probe we got so many different versions. You got the three, mm -hmm. the four. Um, probably sell more fours than we do anything now. Yeah, but I still like the three too. The, you know? the three is my three favorite. And a four. The well, you're getting options, many different things. I mean, you get obviously it's like a test light, but and with the test light, people's like, well, you can't test ground with test light. Yeah, you just hook them up backwards. You can yep. still test ground, mm -hmm. but with the power probe, you ain't got once you hook it up, you can test anything from that point on, and you can still apply a little bit of power and stuff to right. things. Um, these is more like the hook where you can adjust your amperage and mm -hmm. all that uh, which that's way above my pay grade for sure as far as testing ability stuff besides i don't want to do nothing electrical test no electrical stuff <laughs> i ain't smart enough for all that but the guys who do the electrical stuff that's why they make the big bucks i guess i guess that's what i've heard yeah <laughs> <laughs> what else you got up here you got some esi stuff yeah, them are uh, fuse buddies. Those yep. are worth their money too. Now they, yeah, fuse buddies and the relay buddies are both mm -hmm. worth the weight and gold. Oh, sure. 
as far as checking, see how much pull you got on one if you steadily popping fuses and everything. Yep. You can see what you're pulling amperage wise. Show this is a, uh, probably sell more of these. Cause I'm gonna use them obviously on different things. But this is really, the, if I was back in the shop, or if I was working in the shop, this would be all I'd need. Cause like I said, I mean, that's yeah, not hard to them. operate obviously, but anything like that, I'm gonna stay away from. Yep. Send that to Clay's shop, let him deal with all that. Shoot, I'm send it to me, man. I'm send it to somebody knows what they're doing. <laughs> we just we just plug around and we figure it out and then we fix it. If we can't fix it, we just bypass it. I was all you fuse is good. I don't know what's wrong with it. <laughs> we just we just run new wire recited, it'll be all right. Yeah. Ain't no need to pull pull a fuse. short, we just pull a new wire. Pull a fuse out and we got wire wrapped from one side to the other. Yep. We've so, seen that before. Yeah. Or paper clip shoved in there and Trying to think of some of the other stuff I've seen. Uh, I seen one that had a like a a coat top or like the tab off of an aluminum can. Yeah, they cut it and shoved it down yeah, in there. Yeah, I've seen that one. Like, That's Jesus an old school Christ, trick right man. there. You catch on fire going down the road. And then like the old school uh, trucks, you know, like that '83 Ford that's in there yeah. we're working on. It had a damn 22 bullet. And there were the fuse, you know, it took the little glass fuses, had a 22 <laughs> below. I'm like, that's, you know, it goes off. Like when it fuse blows, blown. you're going to hear it. Fuse <laughs> blown. <laughs> but then they had a 22 bullet in there for the, uh, one of the fuses for it. They, they very, brave right very there. intelligent. Whoever did that. We, uh, they may not be with us anymore and we obviously know why, but anyway. We, uh. When I was in high school, I had an old 84 square body Chevrolet truck. Good looking truck. Mm. Or down my butt kick for selling it. But build those stroke motor and everything put off in it. Well, I ended up selling it to my cousin. He sold it to somebody else or whatnot. But a buddy of mine bought one of those. They looked identical to it. I mean, just the same thing. But this yeah. had, the, I think it, this truck had 305. We didn't have no, no power or nothing in it at the time. <laughs> you know, or the other day. A weakling. And, yeah, yeah, bad. But uh, he's like, hey, take it for a drive and everything. So we got in it and it was nighttime, just the headlights and everything off the foot button down there. My son was like, What's, what is that for? Like, cause he ain't never seen nothing like yeah. that, you know? It's funny when kids yeah. say that. Yeah. And I was like, well, that's, I mean, that's like my right kids when they seen that old rotary phone out. What is that? How you dial them? How you dial them? <laughs> <laughs> uh, talking about the rotary phone, I got it, or in gun time, you know Jimmy Moore, don't you? Yeah, yeah. His phone on his desk is a rotary phone. And yeah. I get a kick every time when he goes to the, <laughs> calling auto zone down there. I mean, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> his son, or he got, they got four sons, but two of them work with him down there. And that, the one, he gets plump pissed off. He's like, I ain't even calling nobody from that. <laughs> he's like, you five minutes to dial a phone number. I know, it's crazy. I remember yeah. when, and where we live, you know, the prefix is 728 for yeah. Boonville. Or, you know, the state code was 601 at the time. That's before yep. they, they changed it to 662. Yeah. But I remember used to, you just had to dial eight and then the last four digits, you know. And my grandmother, when they changed it to where you had to dial 728, oh, she would get so mad. She'd be like, she'd cuss, you know. She'd yeah. get mad because the phone wasn't working. Yeah. And I'm like, you got to dial 728, <laughs> not just eight anymore. And, well, I, I mean, they pretty much did the same thing now with, like, I'll eat, my kids, I guess a bunch of kids, do, they don't say phone numbers on their phone no more. Me, I got over 600 phone numbers. You go, I don't even know none of mm -hmm. half the people in there, you know. About 40 of them all I know, I'm sure. <laughs> but uh, I save everybody's phone number in there because now they change it to where if you don't, if it's not in your phone, you got to dial a 662 yeah. in front of you. You can't That's dial right. just a yeah. 728 1000 mm -hmm. or like the hospital thinks 842 8422. Yep. Now you got to put 662 in front of it or anything. Mm -hmm. Unless it's in your phone, but yeah, that's aggravating. To, <laughs> to to, We're getting like our grandparents yeah. fussing about the way <laughs> technology's moving forward. That's what I—I I can't remember what it was the other day. I was bitching about something. My wife's like, "That's the sign that you're getting old." I was like, "Yeah." Mm -hmm. I thought my grandmother she would unplug the microwave and stuff like that. So you use less power. Yeah, that clock run power. Yep, keep it on. <laughs> yep. I know. I knew all the old tricks. Yep. Oh well, if I live to be 90, I can bitch about my power bill coming through on the clock too, you know. Yeah. 
I'm, my grandpa would unplug the lamps. He said because the, well, the old school light bulbs, like when, which I'm sure your uh, grandparents did tell you, they like wood burning heaters. They mm-hmm. don't heat a small portion of the house. Yep. Well, the old lights, if they was cold and you turn them on, a lot of times just blow a light. Yeah. Well, he would unplug them that way. My grandmother couldn't turn the lights on and blow the lights. <laughs> He was like, she can wait till the house warms up. Yeah. Then I plug the lamps in, and she can use them. You yeah, know? that's <laughs> I like, true. Well, of course, I would, his logic was there. I understand that, but the chance of it blowing a light bulb and having to go buy another <laughs> yeah. light bulb—I mean, it might do it once a month, but it, he'd yeah. be fighting that over that dang light bulb. You that's know, that's true. But I mean, like my grandparents, they didn't go to town, but maybe once a month either. Yeah, you know, it was like you very rarely went to their house and they went home. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It wasn't like people are today. So. Yeah, nobody's at home anymore. I'm not. I'm busy all the time with something. Me Kids too. Are... stuck up here in this hell hole. <laughs> yeah, work, working all the time. <laughs> Can't afford not to. Yep, got to pay the toll bills. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, this is the last video on the Snap-on truck of 2021. Yep. So that's it. It's a wrap. It's done. 21's over with the Snap-on truck videos. But Hamilton said he's going to make it even better for 22. Way better. He's going to do a belly dance and put a stripper pole back here with a girl. <laughs> so he'll have a full-time stripper. He'd probably be stuck at the same shop all week long. It would never get off the truck. <laughs> now, it may be one of these kind of strippers that hang up here, <laughs> hanging off that pole. But either way, he said he's going to put a stripper pole in here and have it'll, a stripper working there. on it. So... All right, guys, like always, thanks for hanging out with us. Y'all have a safe New Year's. Don't drink and drive. It's not worth it. Just wait. You just get an Uber, get a buddy, get somebody Hotel to Hotel room or... Or walk. Simple as that. Yep. Y'all be safe. Have a great New Year's. Drink one for me and Hamilton, and we'll do the same for y'all. Like always, thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, click that button just press that bad boy y'all have a great week see ya